So I, I, I'm staying here in a, in a motorhome in the racetrack, and I had to move in Wednesday night. I got here about 11.30 at night, and a uh, security guard stopped me on the way in, and I told him where I was headed, and he said, oh no, you uh, you can't go in there. I was I was denied access to my own motorhome because security didn't believe my story that I was supposed to be racing in the race on Sunday. Do you get selected for the number of the car? Because the number is very significant to Canadians. Yeah, I, I got the number 27 actually because uh, it was a number of significance to the team. Marco's 26, Ryan's 28, so the numerical order makes sense. And also the team's last championship and 500 is both came with Dario and 27. So they wanted to preserve that number when they went down from, from four cars to three. Little do they know that as a Canadian, the number 27 actually means quite a lot to me with, with Jock obviously having run that number to win the championship in the 500, and obviously Gilles before that in Formula One running that number. So it's uh, it's funny, it had a lot of significance to both the team and myself, but for different reasons. You're going to have a busy week this week. You've got lots of family here and, and friends. Um, what's your biggest challenge off the track this weekend? I, I think my biggest challenge off the track is staying safe. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's a very busy week for me. Uh, you know, a lot of extra media attention and commitments and requests. And, and one of the biggest challenges really is balancing your time. And unfortunately, you can't say yes to everything and everyone. And you've got you've to remember that at the end of the day, I'm still here to, to get into this thing and, and do my job behind the wheel. So that's a, that's a very delicate balancing act for sure. And the biggest challenge once you're in it this weekend? The biggest challenge on the track is not hitting anything. I don't, know, I don't know if you guys have been around this track before, but it's, uh, it's a very bumpy track. There are a lot of different surface changes, which is a huge challenge for us. Some very high speed sections like the 9, 10, 11 section, one of the slowest corners on the whole calendar in turn three there at the end of Lakeshore. So it's, uh, it's a very challenging racetrack for us, and, and getting the ultimate lap around here takes an awful lot of focus, takes perfection in car placement, a ton of commitment, and obviously not hitting it. How do you compare this car to last year's version? This year's car is very really different. You know, obviously we've gone from a uh, naturally aspirated V8 to a turbocharged six-cylinder. The, the new chassis has a lot more downforce, has carbon brakes, and, and the general balance was quite different. So it actually took a change in driving style for myself to, to sort of get up to speed in this car. But the more I drove it and, and the more that, you know, the engineers at Andretti Autosport had to play with it and sort of tune it to our liking, the more I liked it. So, uh, Get along all right right now, and, and hopefully we can pull off a good one this weekend. Hitch for homepage versus uh, versus Danica. How's it going? The Hitch for homepage campaign is in full swing. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, man, it's it's tough to go up against somebody like Danica Patrick. She's uh, she's kind of a big deal in the world of motorsport and in the world of sport in general. Yeah. So when you're trying to compete against something like that, you got to pull out all the stops. So we've, we've done some clever campaigning so far, but we're still a little bit behind the fold. Maybe, uh, maybe a successful weekend here in the hometown will help boost our numbers. Nice. Um, why don't we go for a quick tour of the trailer? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Show you guys around uh, around the trailer.